Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Irsa, photographer and content creator. And today I'm here in downtown Fort Myers. I'm gonna take some self portraits and just to kind of show you that even some wall that might look just plain and boring is a perfect backdrop. And you might have one in your neighborhood as well. So I'm gonna bring you along and just kind of show some good examples of what you can use as a beautiful, um, setting or backdrop so let's get clicking guys Why I like to use walls like this is because one, they are great for thumbnails, which is something you always should keep in mind and plan for when filming or photographing. And second, they're simple, easy to use, and usually very accessible too. And I'm pretty sure every downtown area has amazing walls that you can use and it's for free. So many differently colored walls to play around with. To make it extra fun, you can use these colorful walls to be more playful, like matching your outfit with the colors or just using them as a beautiful canvas for your photos or videos. This morning I was extra lucky because I found several walls located in the same area. So when I'm out like photographing filming like this, uh, I do prefer when it's not a lot of people out. So that's why I like to get up early and do it as early as possible with light, of course. So that's just a little side note. Photographing and filming yourself, I like to use an app to control the camera remotely. Just keep in mind that when you're not on Wi-Fi, it can actually be a little bit iffy and not always work as well. So whenever that happens, just remember how you framed and use the camera's timer. And yes, it will be a lot of walking back and forth, but it is worth it. That is it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's episode and that you got some more ideas on just simple walls you can use in your hometown or village or wherever you are in the world. <laughs> Anyways, up until next time, have a wonderful, wonderful day. Hello.